traditional Greek weddings. Who decides? Nowadays, the bridal couple gets to know each other on its own without any parental influence. Therefore, there are no arranged marriages anymore, so girls and women have the free choice to look for their husband to be. Are there any famous traditions or rather common rituals? Of course, there are a lot of rituals, but here come the most important ones. First of all, before the bridal couple gets married, the bridegrooms and the bride's family organize a big pre-wedding celebration in which the wedding dress and the bridegroom's suit play an important role. A common traditional Greek ritual, which is carried on from generation to generation, demands that the bridegroom's family pays the bride's wedding dress while the bride's family buys the suit. Of course, you may now wonder what the wedding dress and the bridegroom's suit have to do with the pre-wedding celebration. On this certain celebration, or rather on this certain day, the two families and closest friends celebrate the pre-wedding phase by dancing and showing the wedding dress, shoes, jewelry, etc. and, of course, the bridegroom's suit to friends and family. The pre-wedding phase can actually be compared to the famous stock party. Was that all? No, the night before the marriage, the bridal couple, closest friends and family members celebrate the celebration of the so-called krevati, which actually means bet into English. During this certain celebration, which belongs to the pre-wedding phase as well, family and friends are supposed to put fresh linen on the bed on which the bridal couple will spend its wedding night. Money which is thrown on the bed stands for prosperity. A little baby has to lay down on the bed to gain a symbol for fertility. According to this traditional ritual, the little baby's gender will reveal whether the bridal couple's first baby will be a girl or a boy. What about the wedding dress color? In Greek marriages, the bride's traditional wedding dress should be completely white. Like in many other Western cultures, it is not uncommon that the bridegroom wears a suit which actually is black. And where does the wedding ceremony take place? A traditional Greek marriage takes place in an Orthodox church in which actually filming or taking photos during the wedding ceremony is forbidden, but at the same time by many pastors tolerated in order to enable the bridal couple to hold such beautiful moments in pictures. How many guests are usually invited? 250 to 500 guests are not unusual for a typical Greek marriage, so it is a big wedding. Do the guests get the common Greek, let's say, well-known food such as souvlaki and tzatziki to eat? First of all, all the guests get some appetizer, for example, pita bread with different Greek dips, such as the well-known tzatziki, before each guest get lamb slices with rice, the so-called ramopilafo, which can be translated as wedding rice. Here you can see a typical picture of how the lamb as a whole is prepared before serving it. The way it is going to be prepared at weddings is called Antichristo. What about the wedding cake, a must-have on each wedding party? The wedding cake. Cutting the wedding cake is a moment which is devoted to the bridal couple during weddings. But now, guess! Greek women do not battle for having the hand over the husband's one, simple because the Greek traditional culture does not know this meanwhile common Western ritual. But me, I promise you, I will have my hand over my husband's, whether he is aware of that ritual or not. Does the bridegroom have to pay in order to get the bride? Greek marriages do demand something like a marriage portion. This happens when the groomsman comes to the bride's 
parents' house to take her to church. The bride's best friend do not let him to make any step into the house until he gives some money, and usually it reaches the total of 200 to 300 euro, which later on will be given to the bridal couple as a further present for the honeymoon vacation. What about the bridesmaids? Are there any? There are no bridesmaids at a Greek traditional marriage. And what about the exchange of wedding rings during church ceremony? Only the groom's man, and an emphasized attention here, only he is the one who at Greek church marriages put the rings on the bridal couple's fingers. Additionally, the groom's man removed three times the so-called Stefana, as you can see in this picture over the bridal couple heads, which stay on their heads during the whole ceremony and stand for long life coherence both in bad and good moments. What about this? It's not a tablecloth, I assure you. Furthermore, a typical Greek church marriage is marked by some knitted white scarves, which you can see below. Every guest wears a certain knitted white scarf as a symbol for being a witness for the marriage in front of God. And guess how many you have when attending at least two to three weddings once a year. Oh God, I have already stopped counting them, but let us come to the next point about Morrigan elements. Does a traditional Greek wedding include any more than common Western element? More than elements which are involved in a traditional Greek wedding are not many, because each Greek couple holds on the traditional process of getting married, so honestly, I have not seen any of them yet compared to other Western weddings. It may be interesting for you to emphasize that a typical Greek wedding does not include any wedding place, such as cutting wood, for example. And what about dancing, music and entertainment at Greek weddings? Dancing to typical Greek songs, to your surprise, the common known Syriaki dance is not danced within weddings. In the background you can see the music which is played at weddings. So this is the way of how Greeks dance at wedding celebrations, the form a cycle. Requirements for Greek Orthodox Church weddings Both the bride and the bridegroom need to be Orthodox in order to marry in an Orthodox Church. If you know the famous movie My Big Fat Greek Wedding, you may have noticed that for Dulas, the bride's husband, Ian, needs to be baptized orthodoxly in order to be able to marry in a Greek church. Of course, this picture taken out of the movie, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, does not show the actual way of how one is baptized in an orthodox church. The baby swimming pool is just a joke here. So what about you? Would you like to join a traditional Greek wedding celebration if you were invited? Oh, you should, although something might seem strange to you. You will have a lot of fun. <laughs>